that is our university. The land is our teacher. And that's why, you know, they talk about uh, land-based education, but really the, the land and the vibrations of the language on that land, that's where you get everything you need. Every land, every place has its own vibration. So not everything can grow everywhere because of what's around or even the language, like when you're in the north, in the Innu country, or there's no trees. Uh, they have the same uh, grandmother for the language, like Algonquin is kind of the grandmother of like Inuimun and Cree and Soto and Ojibwe. They all come from that grandmother, Algonquin, but they all sound differently in, the, in each place because of what's around. So in Innu country, you might say, uh, like for the grandfather rock or the the stone, ashini, ashini, and and uh, in the in here in in Saskatchewan you say asini, there's no h, and I say all the, a lot of the Innu sound has the h because of the snow and the wind and the way that it that they travel on that land. We're here with the rocks and the trees and the, the poplars. There's different sounds and different songs that come from the land and the language that comes from the land. That's where the language comes from, the land. If they wanted to indigenize, as they all say, you know, the, the university, every, all the language of instruction would be Cree. It would be the language of the land you're on. If you were in Winnipeg, you would be learning Ojibwe or Soto. Uh, you would learn the language of the land you're on, and then your relationship to that land and your place on that land would be clear. Mm -hmm.